Welcome, my dear student, in our math program for secondary three. Dear student, today we are taking new lesson in dynamics. It's called, or it's titled, rectilinear motion. At the first, we take differentiation of vector functions. Rectilinear motion, what you mean of rectilinear motion if particle moves in a straight line? It moves in a linear motion. If the student, if a particle moves in a straight line, what you mean? It moves in a linear motion. Position of the particle. What you mean of position of particle? When particle moves in a linear motion, at this moment, it takes up certain position of the straight line. To identify the position of X, for moving particle at any time, we choose constant point O on the straight line as an origin point and determine the position direction along the line. Example. Dear student, look at when particle is at position A on a straight line. Particle is at position A on a straight line. Then, vector x represent 5 c vector. c is unit vector on direction o a vector. Not that, dear student. The position of particle is a vector quantity and it can be expressed as function of the time t. Remember, Dear student, position of particle is a vector, vector quantity, and it can be expressed as function of the time t. We can represent x vector equal function of t. Displacement. Displacement is known change of its position. Remember, dear student, there is difference between displacement and resting. Displacement means known as change of its position. Displacement, its symbol as a vector, equals delta x, what you mean delta x change of its position, x dash vector minus x vector. Delta x is positive when a dash more than a velocity. What do you mean of the velocity? Fs equals delta x is displacement of the particle during the time delta t, then average velocity vector its symbol va vector is equal the quotient of displacement over time. We mean VA equals delta X over delta T. Delta X mean X multiply T plus delta T minus XT change of X over delta T. Then VA equal limit when delta t tends to zero, delta x over delta t. Remember, dear student, we have velocity, average velocity, change of delta x respect to time t. Equals limit when delta t tends to zero, x multiply bracket contains t plus delta t minus x t over delta t. Therefore, VA equals dx over delta t or the slope of tangent to the curve of position, of position time. What is a speed? Speed mean VT vector is velocity vector of a body moving in a straight line. Remember, dear student, V 
t means speed of the particle of the vector of a body this velocity vector v vector t is velocity vector of a body moving in a straight line then the speed is standard quantity expressed the magnitude of the velocity vector the speed norm v equals norm dx over dt equals norm ds over dt then norm of velocity equal norm dx over dt equals norm ds over dt what is the speed it's algebraic measure of the velocity vector and the x algebraic measure of position dear student we now we are translate to example stone is projected vertically upwards and its height x after t second from the projection given by the relation x equals 49t minus 4.9 t square where x is in meter find maximum height the projection poly can reach find algebraic of the velocity vector when stone is 78.4 meter high then find its velocity number c graph both the position vector time graph position time graph and use them to analyze the motion solution look at the student equation xt equal 49t minus 4.9t this position vector x respect to time t its equation left hand side xt right hand side 49t minus 4.9t squared since vt equals dx over dt then by using differentiation respect to time t vt equals 49 minus 8 9.8 t remember dear student vt equals dx over dt we find differentiation the equation xt equals 49 t minus 4.9 t squared respect to time t then derivative of 49 t equals 49 and derivative of 4.9 t squared equals 2 times 4.9 equals negative 9.8 t the stone reaches the maximum height when v equal 0 or vanished therefore we bought the equation 49 minus 4.8 t equals 0 after that find the value of t t equals 5 second maximum height we find the maximum height at t equal 5 by substitution about t equals 5 then x5 equals 49 times 5 minus 4.9 times 5 power 2 answer is 122.5 meter this maximum height which reaches the body the stone is 78.4 meter high when x equal 78.4 by substitution about 49 t minus 4.9 t squared equals x 78.4 by using factorization therefore 4.9 t squared minus 49t plus 78.4 equals 0 by using division by 4.9 each term answer is t squared minus 10t plus 16 equals 0 by using factorization then t minus 8 
outside bracket times bracket contains t minus 2 equals 0, finds a value of t, t equals 8, or t equals what? 2. Then, dear student, we find v at 2 equals 49 minus 9.8 times 2 equals 29.4 meter per second. This velocity at t equals 2. After that, we find velocity at 8. V8 equals 49 minus 9.8 times 8. Answer is negative 29.4 meter per second. Student is 79.4 meter once ascending after 2 seconds and once descending after 8 seconds. Remember, dear student, the student reaches there distant 78.4 meter at two moments. The first moment is two seconds when ascending. When descending, it reaches at this distance, same distance 78.4, descending after eight seconds. Thus, the stone reaches at the maximum height 78.4 at when 2, t equals 2, and t equals 8. Algebraic measure of velocity is 29.4 or negative 29.4, the velocity of the stone in two cases. We have positive or negative, norm, absolute, positive or negative, 29.4, answer is or must be equals positive 29.4 meter per second. From the position time graph, we find that, look at the sudden position time graph, t o o x represent time t, o i represent x t. From zero to five, and 5 from the interval 5 to 10, the body is reached at t equals 5 as, yes, a 6, 117.6. When the body is moving to, look at the student, at t equals 2 and t equals 8, the xt or distant is x and student, 78.4. When a body is moving ascending after t equals 2, it reaches 78.4. When the body at t equals 8 is decreasing or descending, the distance in this time equals 8 is also 78.4. The stone reaches the maximum height, 122.5 at t equals 5. But the stone gets back to projection point once when t equals 10. When the stone gets back to projection point, once again, when t equals what? Equals 10. Why? Because when t equals 10, x t equals 0. Then the stone gets back to projection point at t equals 10. The sending stage took 5 seconds. Look at, we have two intervals in ascending and descending. From 0 to 5, the stone is ascend. From 5 to 10, the stone is descending. Then, ascending stage took 5 seconds, and descending stage took another 5 seconds from 5 to 10. The stone was at 78.4 meter height when t equals 2 and t equals 8. 
problems of velocity time graph, we find that look at the velocity time graph. Velocity time graph represents OX represents time T, OY VT. Look at velocity time graph at T equals five, yes, VT equals zero. But when T equals zero, maximum high, maximum velocity is 49, when T equals 10, equals negative 49. Look at the starting initial velocity of the stone was 49 meter per second, when T equal zero. The initial velocity, V naught is 49 meter per second. And it gets to decrease during the time interval, open interval zero, five. Until the stone got essentially st static when T equals five. When the stone reaches the maximum height, then the velocity increase in maximum height in this case, we find area of triangle OEL by using half base times height, half times five times five represents time, height OA, but OL represent the velocity 49, multiply by half times five times 49, then we find the maximum height is 122.5 meter. Acceleration, what do you mean of the acceleration? <music> Dear students, in this example or in this lesson, we express by distance and displacement. What is the difference between distance and displacement and velocity after that? We know average velocity. What is the difference between distance and displacement? Displacement means the shortest distance. Shortest distance. We can express it by S vector equal XT vector. It is function of the time t. We can put s equal xt. After that, we know velocity is differentiation of ds by dt. Now, we are taking acceleration. What is the acceleration? Is differentiation of the velocity respect to time t. Then, we know displacement s S equals dx over dt is the velocity. dv over dt is acceleration. Look at the acceleration. Acceleration, it represent A. What is the acceleration? If delta v expresses the change of the velocity vector during time interval delta t, then Average acceleration, a vector, is given by the relation what? Delta V over delta T. What is the delta V change of velocity? What is the delta D change of the time? Then acceleration equals limit when delta T tends to zero, change of velocity V times T plus delta t inside bracket minus vt over delta t. Therefore, acceleration A is differentiation of the velocity respect to time t equals dv over dt is the rate of a change of the velocity vector respect to time t. Or the slope of the tangent of the velocity time graph. Remember, the slope of the tangent of the velocity time graph represents the acceleration A. V, velocity, equals what? dx over dt. A, acceleration, dv 
over dt or d2x over dt2. Remember, dear student, this rule is very important. The velocity v equals dx over dt. What you mean of the velocity? Derivative of position vector or displacement respect to time t. What is the acceleration a? Derivative of velocity respect to the time t or second derivative or of position vector x respect to time t. Then v equal dx over dt and acceleration a equal dv vector over dt or equals d2x over dt squared. Look at the opposite graph, a more than zero. What do you mean acceleration more than zero? We have two cases. The first case, if a more than zero, then v increases. This means that the particle speed up in position, direction, but in second case, dv more than zero. But when look at a smaller than zero, when second case, look at second case, v decrease. This means the particle speed down in the positive direction. Look at the student we have two cases of acceleration. Acceleration is positive or more than zero. More than zero means A is positive. In this case, V is increased up, motion up, but when acceleration is smaller than zero, then V is decreases. Dear student, in this example, we know that we have two cases of acceleration. The first case, acceleration is positive. When acceleration is positive, what do you mean? Velocity or speed is up or increase. But when acceleration is smaller than zero, means velocity is decreases. Look at the object graph represent two cases of acceleration. Object graph means acceleration smaller than zero. What you mean? Yes, extension v decreases. This means it the particle speed down in the positive direction. But in the first case, when a more than zero, v is increases. That means particle speed is up in the positive direction. But in this case, look at a smaller than zero. What do you mean? V decreases. And particle speed down in the positive direction or particle speed up in the negative direction. A smaller than zero means particle speed up in, speed up in negative direction. Look at when A more than zero, particle speed up in positive direction. But in this case, the particle speed up in negative, di negative direction. We have two directions, negative direction, positive direction. Negative direction when speed up, but A smaller than zero. Positive direction when speed up, but in positive direction. Dear student, by the end of this lesson, we mean three unvariables. The first, displacement. Second, velocity. Third, acceleration. There is a relation between V with X and A with two velocity and position. At the first, what is the relation between velocity and displacement. We know that V 
equals what? dx over dt over or ds over dt. What is the relation between acceleration and the velocity extension? The derivative, the first derivative of the velocity is acceleration. But the second derivative of displacement is acceleration, extension. Remember, dear student, we have two types of acceleration. Acceleration more than zero, then V is increased up. But acceleration is smaller than zero when speed is decreased. The first acceleration more than zero, then the velocity is increased. But the second type of acceleration, then A more than zero means V or velocity is decreased. 